Hey, Slump Busters, back at it again. NFL 2021 draft is in the books, but your fantasy football draft is still yet to come. And who is going to be the breakout star at wide receiver this year? Is it going to be Jalen Waddell? Is it going to be Devontae Smith? Which one of these Alabama wide receivers is going to be the standout and the one to own in not only redraft, but dynasty leagues? Obviously, Jalen Waddell going to Miami. Devontae Smith, the Heisman Trophy winner at a buck 70 going to Philly. Drew, where are you leaning on this one? I got to go Devontae Smith. Now, I know that for a wide receiver in the NFL, he is a very small guy. I mean, if anything, he looks like me. For those who don't know who, what I am, I'm 5'10", 137. So, <laughs> if anything, I'm just as built as Devontae Smith here. <laughs> but – Might have to take that one to the combine, man. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll do – for sure. I don't know if I can run as fast as Devontae Smith can, but <laughs> we'll test it. If so, we well, might have to shoot you up our dynasty rankings. Oh yeah, <laughs> for sure. For sure. The kicking rankings are going to look a lot different this year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's focus in. Let's tell the people what they need to know here. So yeah. you're leaning Devontae Smith and I got to say out the gate, I agree with you as well, because when I look at the situation, and I'm basing this mostly off the situation, both these guys are very talented in their own ways. Um, both are speedsters. Both can really get open, take the top off. But when I, I think about what I saw from Tua last year, I saw an uh, unwillingness to make that risky throw, an uh, unwillingness to make that tight window throw. Because let's face it, I'm not at Alabama anymore. I'm not at Kansas anymore, Dorothy. Because at Alabama, let's face it, in the SEC, the, between Jalen Waddell, Devontae Smith, Jerry Judy, Henry Ruggs III, you couldn't even catch these guys. The re- defenders were five yards away from them at the closest. And that's a credit to their route running, their abilities. But at the pro level, we know that those windows start to close in. A, a five-yard difference may be a three-yard. And those three yards may be an inch, you know? So that's the type of windows that Tua has to fit that ball into. And I think Jalen Hurts is more willing to take those opportunities. And certainly he's in a position, too, where he's trying to fight for his spot, put up those big numbers to stay the starter in Philadelphia. And I think that that alone um, does help Devontae Smith when it comes to his rookie production. His 2021 value, I think, is going to be held in lockstep with Jalen Hurts attempt to lock down the starting position in Philly for the foreseeable future. I obviously agree with you. I mean, it's all about the situations that they're in. Tua, in order to be an NFL quarterback, you have to be able to take those risks. You have to be able to see yourself make those tough throws. I mean, as a Browns fan, I saw that with Baker Mayfield in his rookie year to Jarvis Landry lad, those tight window throws that were is a one that could easily been picked off, but just those inches made the difference to make it the perfect throw. And, you know, obviously you see it from Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, you know, all these elite quarterbacks. To be a good quarterback in the NFL, you cannot be afraid to make those decisions. Yes, I, I understand you want a comfortable five, six yards on a guy, but sometimes you have to take what you can get. And if a guy can separate at least three to four yards, you have to take that chance. If you make the bad throw, all right, you line up and you do it again. Yeah, sorry to cut you off, but no, Jalen Waddle isn't Craig really a Devontae contested Smith. ball guy. That's not his skill set. Right, exactly. And like Devontae Smith, you know, he's got a quarterback who is willing to make those passes, who has the green light from his co- uh, coaches to make those kinds of plays. And, you know, will Jalen Hurts make the jump this year and actually be a solid quarterback from his rookie season? We're, we're obviously going to wait and see. But if he can, Devontae Smith is in a very good situation and could easily be the number one, if not already is a number one in Philly as of right now. And I just I just trust Hurts a lot more than I do Tua right now. Yeah, I think there is going to be a little bit more competition in Philly than we give it credit for. Jalen Rager was a first round pick last year as well. And I think that the yeah. Eagles will want to get him involved. He did show me that he had a little bit of chemistry with Hurts towards the end of last year. Uh, Devontae Smith is going to have to show that he can hold up in the NFL, but that might not affect him in his rookie year. That might affect him more in dynasty. And that's where we, we should shift our conversation next. 
So a 160 pound wide receiver holding up in the NFL long term is something that we haven't really seen in a while. But the NFL has shifted. It's not so much about those big hitters, uh, those people taking out wide receivers over the middle. And I think that that's why a guy like Devontae Smith can be in the league. We've seen a transition, a changing of the guard at quarterback now. Now people like Drew Brees or Baker Mayfield or Kyler Murray are given more opportunity. I think we're shifting more towards these smaller, quick guys who uh, can create their own plays, playmakers basically, that we are to your prototypical football player from the 90s and 2000s. And I, basically this is a long way of saying that I think that uh, Devontae Smith, uh, week in and week out, uh, is going to be able to pr produce more for your fantasy lineup, I, I think, long term. Uh, you know, I, I think that he's more what the this game is shifting to. I, I think I just still have questions on both these guys, quarterback situations, though, long term. And that's what kind of kills me in Dynasty, right? Like, Tua, we, we still have to see it. We have to see him make that commitment. And then Jalen Hurts, um, he's clinging on to his his starting job as is, um, as evident by their coach's unwillingness to commit to him as even as the week one starter. Um, and when I talk about two, three years down the line, who's going to be throwing these guys passes, whether that be in Miami, Philly, or another team, it's concerning. Um, I don't know where you're leaning dynasty-wise. Dynasty-wise, I have to go with Devontae Smith. I, like you said, we don't know in a couple of years who's going to be throwing the ball to either wide receiver at this point because like you said Jalen Hurts his coaches and stuff like that don't even know if they want him to be the week one starter but it, I mean it's just a matter of long term I think that Devontae Smith can produce as we said size on the NFL but have been the biggest producers in the NFL I mean look at guys like Julian Edelman and you know who's won five Super Bowl rings or four Super Bowl rings and you know may not go into the hall of fame because you know certain people think he shouldn't but he, all in all he was a heck of a wide receiver he was very very good and tom brady relied on him a lot to win those championships so small guys have big impacts i mean tyler lockett's not that big of a guy either and look how much russell wilson uses him <laughs> I'll add this too. I, I think when I look at their divisions, that also kind of gives me a little bit of a lean towards Devontae Smith as well. Uh, because Jalen Waddle, he's in a position where he has to go to Buffalo a couple times a year. Uh, Bill Belichick is still a, the head coach in New England. And we'll see what Robert Sala brings to the Jets, but a defensive minded head coach nonetheless. Um, all people that will make it very difficult for a player like Jalen Waddle and a young developing quarterback like Tua. Um, in the NFC East, a division that has been much maligned, you would say Washington has a tough defense, but you would say besides that, it's kind of a mixed bag when you look at the Giants in Cowboys situation, specifically in their secondaries, um, which will be a developmental project for the, both those teams over the next couple of years, which opens up a window of opportunity for Devontae Smith to succeed. I would say that that's also a part of this equation who they're be going to be playing on a week-in and week-out basis. Yeah, and I'm glad you brought that up because I was going to get to the divisions in a, in a second because, you know, the NFC East is a lot easier than the AFC East. This year for Jalen Waddle, you got the Jets twice a year if they can get things together. And you got the Bills twice a year, especially going to Orchard Park in the dead middle of winter. I mean, is Jalen Waddle going to be used to that? I, who knows? <laughs> it's freezing cold up there in Buffalo. And, you know, Devontae Smith, you know, like you said, the Cowboys have secondary issues. The Giants have secondary issues. And more or less, both teams have defensive issues all in general. And so he's got more of an easier chance to make those bigger plays and to help his fantasy value and revenue go up rather than Jalen Waddles. And, I mean, not going to lie, if Ryan Fitzpatrick was under the center again in Miami, I wouldn't be hesitating to say Jalen Waddle might be a – <laughs> it might be the one to redraft because at least you got a quarterback who's not afraid to make throws and make mistakes. But I mean, you, you got a quarterback who is afraid to make those chances. And especially in the AFC East, you have to be a risk taker to win those games because 
those games in the Patriots, the Bills and the Jets, they're going to be very close games, one scoring games that you need that big play to help you win. And if you're not one to make that big play, especially to a guy like Jalen Waddle, it really makes me question why the team tanked for you <laughs> because now you're not going to help Jalen Waddle out. You're not going to help your receivers out now compared to Jalen Hurts. Like, like we said, it's a little bit easier for him because we could talk about how bad the NFC East is when you can go six and 10 to make a playoff. And, you know, it's ridiculous, but six and 11 now. I think, uh, yeah, six and 11 now. (laughs) Thank you for the reminder of the 17 Uh, (laughs) game. But I I can't, it's just, I I feel like it's too easy for Devontae Smith and the Eagles in their division right now. Let me also add this coaching element too. Well, I do think that the Eagles' current coach, yeah. he doesn't know how to work his way through a press conference. We're bumbling, stumbling idiots too sometimes when we talk, but we're not NFL head coaches. Uh, that is concerning. Um, but I would also say on the other side, when it comes to Waddle's perspective, Brian Flores, defensive-minded head coach, they're going to have a constant string of offensive yep. coordinators if they do find success or even if they don't find success and they have to move on from offensive coordinators, can a wide receiver like Jalen Waddle continue to develop under a defensive minded head coach like Brian Flores? I think that that's another part of this equation and one that you always have to consider in fantasy. At least you would say uh, for Nick Sirianni, he is an offensive head coach. He does come from that Frank Reich scheme. And that was the scheme that produced um, a great season from Phil Rivers just last year in a solid season from 2017 Carson Wentz that was a lot of production at the wide receiver position. So with those two added together, I think that Vontae Smith, both in redraft and dynasty is the superior Alabama rookie wide receiver. But anyway, slump busters, let us know in the comments below. Are you going to roll tide with Devontae Smith or are you going to roll tide with Jalen Waddle? We want to know your thoughts. Leave a like on this video Use promo code SLUMP at kmancoffeeco.com. Help out our sponsors. Save yourself some money and get some use some delicious cold brew coffee. Hit that subscribe button because we're on that, we're not on that road to 1K anymore. We're on that road to 2K. And we want you part of that journey because we want to help you win your fantasy football league. Anyway, guys, catch you later. Stay safe, happy, and healthy.